So what we want to do is to make sure that we take off all the scales from the fish. So that is our galunggong. And then afterwards, we chop off the head and then we slice it into two. And then we're going to be rubbing our fingers onto the fish meat just so we could take out the baby bones. And then afterwards, we get into that piece that has the pit bone. We take it out too with our knife and then we do it gently because um, the galunggong is really very fragile so we want to make sure that we're handling it carefully we take that off we take the tail off so galunggong outside the philippines is blue mackerel scad brown scad short fin scad here we just call it galunggong then we want to make sure that the place is clean so after um, every cleaning or what have you we clean up the space as well so it's the same stuff that you do for the rest of your fish um excuse my fingers they're really ugly because my mom said before that i shouldn't be cracking my fingers but I never really followed her, so it's the same stuff that I'm teaching my girls right now. Okay. So the idea here is to fully our galunggong to make it pretty. There you have it, the filleted galunggo. And then we are now ready to prepare our rubs. So right now I'm just using a McCormick taco powder and then add a little bit of cocoa sugar, sea salt, mix, mix, mix. Mixy, mixy. And we line up our galunggong on a flat surface. Ideally, there has to be some um, paper towel under to absorb the liquid. Then we line it up again and then slice some lime, squeeze a little bit for some tanginess and to remove that lansa or that fishiness. We roll our filleted fish onto our rub. I thought I would need a bag of flour, but I never really used it. So forget that. Okay. So do that for the rest of your fish. Filleted fish. Okay, so once done with that, we're going to prepare our salsa. So it's just basic onions, tomatoes, and avocado. Plus cilantro, of course. I would have another video for that, but for now, that's all it is. And for this recipe, I am using flat fry bread. It's a Navajo recipe and uh, there's going to be another video where i'll be teaching you showing you how to do this excuse the lighting it took me a long while to finish this video but then we are just about ready to put together our tacos so the bread the Galonggong and our salsa and there you have it kids said it was really good they loved it so you must try it <laughs> <laughs>